jumped into the nearest gondola. There's something very threatening about stepping into one of these conveyances of ancient transport. It's, it's blacker than black wood, can only be found in the woodwork of a coffin, and it's plush upholstery combined with the bob of the water induces a sort of trance-like sleep that must be a precursor to death itself. Surely Cairo must use a gondola as he ferries the never-ending line of souls to their ultimate destination. I allowed myself a momentary indulgence and closed my eyes, leaving the sound of the city's talk and clamor farther and farther behind, wishing that the trip would last just a bit longer. It was then that I realized that we were heading out to open sea. Where are you taking me? The Lido. I don't want to go to the Lido. I want to go to the Valparaiso. If you were lucky enough to get a booking, be prepared to travel. Not since the Israelites crossed the desert has a tribe lived a more nomadic existence than the vaudeville actor. But be prepared to wait long, long hours in freezing railway waiting rooms in winter and sweltering platforms in summer because even though the next town you play in is only two hours away, the trains don't go there directly. You may have to take a train in the opposite direction and wait an additional eight hours to make the connection to the town you're trying to get to, turning your two-hour trip into an 18-hour jump. One set You're all late. You can't do that. And why not? And why not? He's right. Because she's second. She's online. That's the way things are. It are. She's in second place. She can beat you there. How she did it. I can been standing here all night right up at the front of the white line. Got my sack here with my food and my drink. I'm prepared. Prepared to be first, goddammit. Not second, not third, not fifth. I'm prepared for first. But mind you. If I want to move your old lady and be second, I'll move your old lady and be second. Just like... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, no. oh, you, you, you <laughs> son of a bitch, you, you dirty son of a bitch. He took my place, he took my place. What the hell is this? Get out of line, Fleming, move out of line. You took my place. That's what a woman does to you, what's your name? That's what a woman does. Stop laughing, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what a woman does to you. <laughs> He's right. Damn you! Damn you! I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. Right behind you. Now, 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 now look, you bitch, now look. We, they're both out. They, they moved up, you, you, you moved up, you, you sons of bitches, you snuck up. You stepped out. Out of line, out of luck. Out of line, out of luck. Out of line, out of luck. What, what's it? Out of line, out of luck. It's supposed to be funny, it's supposed to be a joke. Out of line, out of luck. Who said that? You said that. Out of line, out of luck. Oh, well then, that's just right. I bought myself a wagon. For hauling blocks of ice. I cut the ice to ice cubes. And got a higher price. I shaved the ice to ices. For still a higher fee. A rich tycoon said very enterprising in your organizing, so you must come work for me. I'm en route to work next morning. I helped a lady cross. The lady was, you guessed it, the mother of the boss. The boss said, you're promoted. I need you at my side. Boss's daughter, and I wed the boss's daughter. Then, quite suddenly, she died. <laughs> I bought myself an anchor, a silo, and a steed. All yonkers started buying my grain and hay and feed. And now I'm half a million. But proudly, I confess. In my pocket is the penny, yes, that shiny little penny, yes, that penny that's the secret of 